Hello there guys and welcome, welcome back to the channel. So needless to say, Alliance Raids have not necessarily had the best landing in the game in general. In pretty much every aspect, Alliance quests have been improved in the last 6-7 years. Raids brought it back and worse. Every single thing that we disliked about Alliance Quest has been, well, revived in Raids. On top of the fact that we do get RNG rewards, uh, which, you know, went away for a very good reason. We had Alliance War Season Crystals, which we got rid of because RNG aspect didn't seem fair for a team game mode. Then we had Alliance Quest Crystals, which we got rid of because of similar reasons. But now Kabam still decided to bring back raids, chests, basically, effectively raids crystals. So literally every single thing that kabam have improved upon in team game modes especially alliance quest has been revived and worse than ever but whatever we're gonna overlook all of that we're gonna overlook all of the inadequacies and well the sheer lack of thought um or understanding of their player base and we're gonna talk specifically about thanos's block mission now that is something special indeed. <laughs> For those of you who do not know, when you fight Thanos in raids, he will select one of three random prompts. One of them is intercept, one of them is dodge a hit, and one of them is block him, which sounds straightforward enough. The problem, however, is that he continuously gains furies, increasing his own attack as well as pierce buffs, which means that a single block will do 20, 30, 40, 50k damage, um, pending at what time it is in the fight. And obviously, you do need to complete those missions in order to be able to ramp up your and your teammates' damage. So, <laughs> there is a very fun thread happening right now. So, what um, are we expected to do when we're having a great run, but Thanos decides to prompt a block mission several times in a row while all, while building up Furies and Pierces? Just stand there and take the 50k block damage to complete the mission. <laughs> Guess I'll die. That has been the story here, for sure. And there are obviously some answers to that. Like, if you're timing well with Titania, you know, you can be instructable and reduce that. Uh, but again, you do need to have brought in Titania and time it out perfectly. And uh, had the exact same thought. Why not change it to hit with a special or something? Exactly. It could be easy any other thing. You know, knock him down with a special attack. Even knock him down with a heavy attack would be better because eventually you can, you know, use a striker and then knock him down or something. For Assault, Kit ignores the damage. For one guard, Absorbing Man, Uru reduces damage drastically. Tactician is very rough with no real options that I can think of. Uh, well, that's the thing as well. There should be more than one viable champion that just doesn't randomly die. That's a definition of a bad design. If a champion comes into the game and there's only like one counter to that champion, it's bullshit and we all know it. If Kabam releases, like we all remember Acid Wash Mysterio, I believe. But at the point when that fight was released in the game, there was exactly two champions that could do that fight the way Kabam intended that fight to be done as an armor break and poison so there was king groot which was before buff and it was an absolute noodle and there was man thing which was freshly released champion that had armor break and poison and that is a definition of a brain dead design if it genuinely doesn't have counters and this is the same thing i'm sorry i want to like the raids i want to have fun in raids but that Thanos block mission is just a brain dead design and I cannot fathom the sheer moronic force that has to be in possession of a person who completely overlooks something like that. To design a piece of content where continuously a champion gains furies, fierce buffs, escalating the block damage, and you demand that players block. It's one thing that you say basically, okay, you block, you die, get good, or some shit like that. Fair enough. Raids are quote unquote, meant to be challenging, but I refuse to believe that raids are, raids are meant to have another die now button aside from the one that you have when you deal 10% of the damage. It's clearly somebody overlooked it. Somebody yet again did not do any testing, did not do their job. Kabam collectively as a whole didn't like, you know, check the game mode properly. And now we're just fucked. 
This is the point, I'm afraid. The only answer is death. And sincerely hoping someone on the team who actually plays game gives it a whirl and says, Hey devs, this is kind of... Well, exactly. It's like, whoever designed it clearly didn't play that fight. Or they died before there could be any meaningful block damage. The person designing that fight either died within the first 30 seconds of the fight or just didn't play it at all. And now it seems all we get is deaf ears and wild concerns like this are hilarious after the fact updates. Yep, ears too strong, reds need some fixing for sure. It would be nice if the prawns had a timer expired after a while, especially when it intercepts and he just holds block forever. Yeah, that would be a solution. That would be a legitimate answer. Just like, you know, like, you know, put them on a timer. Fission Kushal regenerates from block. Okay, fair enough. Terrible design flow and 95% of the raid uh, options just die from block hits because of the huge oversight. Block hit should not ever be a mission when Pierce and Fury are a thing. Exactly. Too deep into the fight, you need to occasionally complete missions to keep the roll force up. If you're new in the fight, you only need okay, blah, blah, blah. Okay. Cool, that's not the point here. It's ridiculous to have an instant death mission tied to an RNG. Exactly. Instant death tied to an RNG. Yeah. We are the beta. Again, that's. That's pretty much it. Mr. Dr. Senior Zola is absolutely right. We are clearly beta testers for this shit because Kabam is unwilling or incapable of. Like, I don't know which one it is, but time after time they are proving themselves recently to be either unwilling or incapable of handling their job. I actually thought about how you do even activate the block heal blessing without blocking first. Yeah, that's exactly. Doesn't change the fact that it's glaring oversight. My roll force expired early and I got back to back blocks. Two blocks hits later, I was dead. Exactly. And lucky enough, you can see four or five block missions in a row, then you're dead before you can do anything meaningful. Well, kind of glad to know it's not just me, but it's still terrible. There are definitely some things to work on for the next raid. Some. I know it's supposed to be hard and a big team effort, but <laughs> team already insta death. Yeah. Exactly. It's only fair that there is some form of compensation even just yeah exactly like because this is all like our thanos is still not down with the last ones we're planning to take it down today but this fight already is eating up so so much of alliance stash that it's ridiculous ah, yeah, 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 yeah. i mean that's kabam for you like what do you want it's like guess i'll die then like whoop 50k on block. Yeah. Oh, you took that hit, block hit. RNG says you're gonna have to take another. Let me know how you guys are doing with that fight and uh, how do you enjoy those block hits. I'll catch you guys soon. Bye bye. Hello there, guys, and welcome back to the channel. So, we have all the information.